G'day and welcome to another greedy episode of Snout's Kitchen with me, Snout the Pig. So today I thought I'd cook us up a classic dish and that is beans on toast. So for today's cooking you will need a toaster. Some bread, now it can either be whole grain or it can be white bread, but I'm going to use 50 50, which is the best of both. A tin of beans, a pan, and a tin opener. Also, you're going to need is a plate and a knife and fork to eat it when it's done. Okay, let's get going. So, to uh, start it off, you need some bread. Now, like I said, the bread can be any bread that you want. So, yes, the bread. Yeah, tie this really tight. And... So, yes, you will need a slice of bread like this or as I call it raw toast oh, yes but toast you place it in the toaster then you place the dial down here's a slice I made earlier and it's burnt up like a crisp anyhow let's get on shall we with the rest of the cooking so the bread that is left, you can just put back in your fridge. Oh. All right. And in it goes. Right. Your second task. So we're going to shift that away now. And we're going to go to the next bit, which is the tin of beans that I'm going to open. So this is going to be somewhat of a farce because the tin openers are off a blooming nightmare. Let's see if I can get it in. Ah, punctured. Right, so then you just keep moving it around. Around so it'll open. Ah, uh, yeah, it's opening. It's opening. <coughs> Yep, 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 and we got it. So, once that's done, you need to be careful now that you don't cut yourself. There we go. Get this top lid bit out and chuck that in the bin. Right. Next, you're going to need the pan. And you just pour the beans in there like that. Right, it's now in the pan. And you can throw it in the way. You can clean it out and recycle it. Or you can wash it. Look at that. And now, the next part of the task is we're going to cook the beans. <coughs> Great, and welcome back. So... We're now going to cook the beans, which are right here. Yes, sir. They are. So what we're going to do first is we're going to switch the cooker on. Now, it's this one I need to do because it's on that corner. So you press it down, and then you should see that the gas is on. Turn that gas down a bit. Now what you'll need to do next is get some kind of a fucking teaspoon. I not said fuck yet in this episode. So yes, now we're going to mix those beans up. That's right, mix those bloody beans up. So they'll be nice and hot for when it's done. So now, I'm just going to leave 
the uh, beans to cook for a bit. While they're doing that, we'll get on to the toast. Now I can use any butter. I'm using Clover's Light, but you can use any butter that you blooming want. I can check this in the wash sink now. Let's check on those beans before we start buttering. Oh yeah. Look at that, eh? Right, so buttering the toast. So now we're gonna do that. So for this one, you will need a spreading knife. You'll need to just scoop a bit of the butter out and start buttering it. Oh, look at that, eh? Buttered toast. Over the floor, eh? Right, so, the toast is buttered. Now we can go back to the beans. So as you know, the beans are fucking bubbling and I think that they're just about done. They bloody look done and all. Yeah. Now you can use any size tin of beans. I just had a small tin because it was uh, busy this morning with the breakfast rush. So now the beans are done and the next thing to do is to finish off the beans on toast. So. The beans are done, the toast is buttered, so let's serve. Ah, look at that, eh? Lovely there, ain't it? Ah. Now, what I want to do now is put this in the sink and get it ready to wash. Now, as you can see, it is steaming because it is red hot and well quickly done. Well, you can see here, beans on toast, and that's how you make it. And to top it all off, when you're going to eat it, you're going to need a knife and fork, and you're going to dig right in there, and Bob's your fucking teapot, the job is a good one. So, that is all that I have got time for in this week's episode. But join me next time where I will be cooking up something else that is delicious. So, yes. So, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to share, then also feel free to share. Also, uh, on behalf of Random Ross, subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you after this. Oh, and I shouldn't have to remind you, before you cook this, you better wash your hands. I'll wash mine. Anyway, that's all I've got time for. So, until next time, goodbye.